Okay, Dawn here um, with the easy to boot menu and I uh, have tried uh, Hirons and React OS and uh, Hirons would boot on this ASRock system but uh, uh, React OS wouldn't but Hirons didn't have, for some reason all of its menus wouldn't load and it couldn't get network connection uh, I say all of its menus. It has a Hirons uh, application menu that it loads up, and you can run all of its portable apps. But not, it never would load. It rebooted it three times, and so I don't know what was going on. I've seen that happen before. Never really figured out why. Uh, usually, just a reboot or two, you know, reboot would fix it, but it didn't. So, I, and I tried running. All I wanted to do is see if I could run a couple of uh, online virus scanners. It, it, that are Windows executables in there, and they I, I executed them, and they wouldn't uh, wouldn't even load. They needed deal files and stuff like that, so it's not in Hiron, so it wouldn't be worth the trouble trying to make that work. I don't uh, Reactress wouldn't even boot. I tried quite a while to get it to boot, so I'll just take it out of this out of here off this uh, SD card. That's one cool thing about this easy to boot. You can just add or remove ISO images. To its folders, and then it'll uh, it'll automatically find what you have in there. Uh, but I have uh, let's see what do I have else in there? I want to try Fedora 24. Let's see, do I have anything in the utilities? Whoops! Oh yeah, it's fine. Let's see. Uh, there's some things that it comes with it. Okay, I think there's a few utilities in there. Looks like. So yeah, there's a few, so I'm not going to use, that's not what I was wanting. I won't try those right now today, I'll just, whenever I have a need for them I may try them, but uh, I have three Windows 7 install ISOs, they boot, I tried all of them, in the Windows, I put it in the Windows folder, or Win, I think it just said Win or something, but uh, it says Windows boot menu and that's got hirings and I'll just show the Hirons and React OS. Neither one of the Hirons boots, so it doesn't really work. React OS wouldn't boot at all. So back to the main menu. I'm having trouble holding the phone straight, aren't I? I'm, I can't tell what I'm doing, you know, uh, when I'm up there reading the what's on the computer. The phone menu, my phone screen's too small to try to read off of it. So Linux. Did it say three? Oh yeah, I've got DRBL Live, Disklisk Remote Bootable Live. I won't try that right now. Parted Magic, I have 2013 and uh, 486. Those should run. They run on most. Uh, one or the other would run on this, I would imagine. Um, so, well, I want to just see if Fedora 24 would run because I might be able to install Fedora 24 from here. Um, Let's see. Okay. I'll, whoops. If you don't hit anything, it'll just go ahead and boot. But I guess that's fine. I guess it's going to boot to what I, the defaults, which is what I'd want anyway. Anyway, and and Fedora, the default I think is test this this media, which I don't usually need to do. It's usually fine. Test the ISO image, see that it's okay. If you have trouble with it, then you could use that. I'm going to say start Fedora 24 Mate Compiz Live. Some systems you can install from a live, the newer, these newer live Fedora images, and some of them you can't. Some of them won't even boot straight from the ISO. I don't know if it will or not. Uh, it was sounding like it probably would. Um, it's what I think it's going to. It sounded like Easy to Boot could do it the way it's when I was reading on their website. So that's why, one reason why I wanted to try it. Because then I can leave all this stuff on here. I can do virus rescue, I can install Linux, the new Fedora, that's my favorite uh, Linux distro. And I'm getting ready to upgrade upgrade some systems here. Some of them are going to reformat. There it is, and completed, but some of them are going to reformat with Fedora 24 only. Because I've got two, let's see, a laptop that's a dual boot and running out of space anyway, and it got infected. Three Windows 7 systems I have, uh, that's all I have uh, of Windows 7, uh, got infected. And uh, I think it all came probably from the same source, some, some files I had downloaded or something in the past. Not sure. But they were different uh, Trojans that were showing up on them, though. I mean, some of them were the same, some of them were different. The ones that were the same were really 
the ones that I think were false positives that were in uh, Sardu uh, executables and stuff. A couple other things that I use that can format disks and stuff. A lot of them will show up fa with false positive detections in some uh, virus scanners. But uh, I don't know. something They could have gotten infected also. Like something could have crawled into them. Whatever happened, it got into all three machines. And uh, so anyway, I, I actually I put a, I had a uh, virtual uh, a, uh, virtual Windows XP set up in one of my other machines. So I copied that over. It wouldn't you could run it, but it, you couldn't really work in it. It wasn't powerful enough. It was just a dual core. But this one, not this one, but the uh, one I use all the time, the Lenovo i5 is a quad core with 4 gig of RAM and it will run it and you can actually work. It's a little slow but you can do it. So I was able to use that to run the uh, uh, so, uh, RM Prep USB and the easy to boot uh, setup stuff and set it up <coughs> and I'm using it now. So that was cool because I needed Windows. I have a Windows XP on a Dell 6000 laptop but it was messed up too. It was think it's infected it couldn't update the virus definitions when I booted it up and it was it was infected the last time before I hardly ever use the use it and when I do I don't usually use Windows but it was infected and so I don't want to deal with that right now anyway so and my menus aren't coming up this is mate so there should be a, a little bar at the top and one at the bottom unless it's just not fitting the screen right you can go to, your mouse can go down below the what I'm seeing on the screen, so it could be something like that. Let's see. All right, there's nothing up there to click on. It could be just really slow at loading. That does happen sometimes. And this is Fedora 24, and this is a this is a dual core Athlon with two gig of RAM. So that's a little bit low on the resources probably for Fedora 24. I'm clicking down there to see if anything will happen. Yeah, see, you're not getting any menus or anything. Yeah, I was thinking, well, some, you know, like XFCE, you can click right, click on the menu, and you'll get a menu, applications menu and stuff. And I think you might be able to do stuff like that in Genome 3, but this is made, I saw it, I'm sure, because I when it was booting up. So, it's running, but everything's not there yet it may just be like I said slow at coming in because I don't see anything that looks like it's not working at all you know like there's no, no messed up video or no strange looking stuff like the video card didn't work or something with it I can see my that's the file manager I was you know that was on the desktop I was able to open that up there's my 32 gigabyte SD card that's what I'm running off of and that's my I was talking about running some I have some in the downloads folder. I have some Windows applications that I can that I could run if I had a Windows system that could run it. And that's the actual hard drive. See if it can mount it. Yeah, good. And that's the one that Windows 7 system that's infected on this the AS Rock. Or that was. It may be okay now, but I kind of want to run. The last scan I did was Bit Defender. I think it's. I know I'm up to at least eight different rescue, ISO rescue uh, images I've booted up to and uh, scanned it with. ISO files that have, you know, different Linux operating systems with different uh, virus scanners on them, rescue systems. And uh, each one would find another different batch of Trojans and stuff on them. Finally, the last one, there was none in there except for some uh, APK Android application files that were backed up on there. And I think they were just false positives. And they didn't say they were, act they thought it was actual viruses. They just suspected it could be a problem. And they were actually, system one of them, all of them were system apps that could talk back to the, uh, you know, the, uh, probably they were just that they could talk back to the, uh, um, provider without asking you and not telling you and that's probably why they look suspicious that's what I gathered from looking at them so um, Anaconda that is the uh, Anaconda is what uh, Fedora uses to install Fedora that would probably be the yeah that's the live OS so um, you know that part of it's working but the menu's not all there and 
if it's gonna come in it's really it's running it's responding good it's not acting like it's overwhelmed you know with the memory at all so maybe if I were to change the video I've been having to do that a lot on this machine like go to basic video or def or uh, want to not default but this booted to the default settings and uh, a lot of times I have to go to basic they'll call it basic video or rescue or some other word I can't remember the other word now but so it is running but for some reason the entire menu is not there and it could have something to do with the way that see normally to get a fedora live iso to boot you have to use the exact way they tell you to put it on your SD card or your USB stick or whatever and it's not the way that Sardu or Yummy does it. It used to work with uh, Fedora but they don't anymore since about 22 or so, 21. So, but the way I was reading on the easy to boot website it looked like it was going to work and it does but maybe there's still some parts of it that's not working. See, I don't even have a way to reboot. I'll have to hard shut it down. I don't have any menus whatsoever. Sometimes they'll just be off the screen. You can kind of click around and they'll come up and you can reset the video settings. It'd be up there at the top left on mate. There's nothing up there. And the, the, a lot of times there's a shutdown and some other stuff, network and stuff at the top right. I would say it's not, not fitting just right because you shouldn't be able to put the mouse down below the screen, I don't think. Maybe. But anyway. <coughs> uh, I wouldn't try to run the install to hard drive or anything unless it was all working good. Um, I'm not gonna, this is not the machine I want to install it to anyway. So, there's my first actual look. No, I, I've looked at it in the virtual machine. It, and it ran fine in the virtual machine in uh, my Lenovo Wi-Fi in VirtualBox. So, create folder, so and so, so and so. I could open the terminal and say shut down, but since this is a live system, it wouldn't make any difference. The only difference this makes is when I do a hard shutdown on this uh, AS Rocket. I don't want to see my SD card again, and I had to. Well, I, it wants to be back to the hard drive, so I kind of halt it there, pull out the, the uh, SD card, and then put it back in. It's in a USB adapter. Take it out, put it back in. Then it'll see it, and then I, I have to do a control alt delete to reboot and get it back in. It'll work then. It took me a while to figure that out, and it was a real pain. And you can't set no matter There is no settings in that BIOS I looked and looked and looked to manually tell it to, you know, see that uh, SD card so, or a USB or anything. It's all automatic, but it doesn't work too well. So, anyway, uh, I'm just going to get out of this and go back to my my real goal here is to do another virus scan on the AS Rock Windows 7 system. So I'm going to go find me another ISO to put on here. Put it on here and then I'll hopefully do one more scan and maybe I'll say it's clean. I'll be able to say it's clean and, and go back to using this one. I may have to fix XP. I mean XP. Uh, Windows 7 is maybe broke because it stops at a screen saying, saying, that, saying the boot menu is broke so there may be I might have to use the uh, install ISOs to repair it. If it's broke really badly, then I'll just take my, I have a 30 gig hard drive and I'll either install 7 on it or for over 24 or something. And that just so I can keep all my uh, video files from my cameras, that that's what the main thing that's on there that I care about. Then I could delete everything to do with Windows off of this hard drive and have a little more space for backup until I get around to where I think I want to buy a, another hard drive. Okay, it's done. Bye-bye.